One of the things we do as a program, as does every program, when we change creative, uh, as does all of my competitors, we let the affiliates know, we send you newsletters, we mail you. The problem is, uh, and I've seen it uh, from some of you, myself with my own eyes, as you sit there and you delete program uh, mails coming through without looking at it. All right, uh, so you're busy and there's a lot of spam, I understand Stop that. offering a standard image that people can download. Offer them a flash that you can remotely control and update. A JavaScript snippet with your linking uh, uh, that they can incorporate in a site. They'll still, if they still specifically want that image, they'll take it out of that file anyway and incorporate it. And then it may still happen. But if you can control as an operator to ensure that the update is there, uh, the content is updated, then you won't fall into that position. You're not going to change what the affiliates do on a day-to-day -day basis en masse. But if you retain the control, you then have the ability to make sure that the consumer experience is one that's valid. Jason, yeah. I agree with you you're on uh, that. But uh, and uh, certainly we do, like uh, many other people, we host our banners, we do all of those things. And where we have that control, it's all good. But uh, the problem is a lot of affiliates do not want you to host their banners. A lot of uh, affiliates will want to cut and paste the code and keep it on their own sites. And those are really the issues where they are, and it's a, it's a problem. Then may I suggest you speak to the gentleman sitting next to you, and we'll take a different route. Um, did you have a question? Uh, hold on. Let me uh, get in there somehow. Martin, one last thing also. One thing to think about when you're looking at that, when you're looking at your brand name being dominated by affiliate, you know, having a lot of other affiliates in there, um, you know, always consider that, you know, that's one of the uh, low threshold things about social media is go out there and claim your brand in as many places as possible and try to fill those gaps in with your own stuff, right? If you're really taking a good look at it, you can develop a, a, a pretty easy formula as to why that's there and then try to replicate it for your own brand and other sites. Um. Okay, so we probably, uh, this is about the time we need to wrap up the, um, this particular section. This is the point, point of the conference where I'd normally ask for your top tips. So we've covered that. So what I'm gonna ask you instead is, um, oh, there we go. What I'm gonna ask you instead is if you could tell me the biggest change from the last panel that we hosted in Amsterdam to now in you know, the way you should think about SEO. Jason isn't wearing a, a leprechaun. Go, go. What'd you say? He's, he's got to go that's, play poker. That's the, not his the, leprechaun the, the, costume? The biggest change from, 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 from last, last the last so conference now? that we held in Amsterdam till now. What are the, what's the well, biggest uh, change? I, I think it's a branding update. And the branding update, I, I deal with a lot of top brands. And um, it significantly changed. Um, the rankings with all of them. Um, I don't know if, if we figured out the repercussions of it yet. Uh, I, they're devaluing a lot of backlinks. Um, but I don't know if Dave, uh, I don't know if you guys have a, 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 more of a, a, a threshold on it, but all I know is there's been a significant change. Google put it off like it was nothing um, to us SEO gurus and the people who give a shit, the 1% of us, um, it, it was a significant change. I believe the biggest thing that's happened since Amsterdam is there's one less search engine to play with. Microsoft effectively have taken over Yahoo. That, no, it, it, it's don't, yeah, it, it, it's real. There were three different algorithms and three different players. Google was always the one you wanted. You got Yahoo, you got Microsoft collectively. It meant something, you still wanted Google. And a lot of people went after Yahoo and Microsoft because the barrier to entry for good Google rankings was big. The reality is that uh, Google is still the daddy. Yahoo and Microsoft is now one algorithm to look to, or will be very soon. No, it'll be about 18 months. 18 months, but it's preparing now for the 18 months. Yeah, but, but Microsoft hasn't rolled out all of the, the, the what, they, what they do. Uh, I've got to be, I've got to be careful. Yeah. Um, the, <laughs> In, uh, finally, if, if you're gonna if you're gonna suggest if we're gonna talk a little bit about Bing, how important is Bing at this point in time? The most it's mo Bing at this moment at this moment in time, everyone should be really ultra focused on it. 
seriously at the moment from an affiliate point of view, that's where I'd be focusing. In the US, I think they're getting about 22% traffic share. It's like, that's phenomenal. You know what I mean? It's like, it, you don't have to, you, know, you can make a real good living out of dominating that area. The big brands, it, they don't mean anything to Bing at the moment. They will, okay? Th that will come. Um, and when they roll out some of the things that they have been rolling out, it's going to be really, really hard to get. And you know, you would look at Google and think, Christ, they've put a local map in there and they've put news and blog results in there and the, the real estate is getting smaller and smaller. When Bing do it, the real estate will be that brand, that page. That's it. You're going to have to click more to get to the next set of results. That's fact. That's going to happen. Um, but it's moment in time. If you can get grandfathered in, the same as anything, you'll be golden. And it's a new algorithm. It's not been around that long. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I, I, you, you hit the nail on the head, Dave. It's, it, it's, uh, uh, being, uh, it's the grandfather clause. But it's like um, the biggest change I've seen anyway is that it's quality of link. So make sure you get things like those Encada links. Anything that you know has got a natural authority that no one else has found yet. Spend your time and money looking for those areas. Not, you know what I mean? And, and social is great for that. Social will find those by accident. You know what I mean, if Huffington Post links to you, you've made it. You know what I mean? They're not going to link to anybody, but if you can get something viral and Huffington pick up on it, fantastic. I, if I, TechCrunch I, pick up on it, fantastic. Mashable, fantastic. All good resources, they always link out cleanly, they will pass authority to you. You just gotta give them the right content and the reason to link to you. Classify, and based on what Dave said, he's right. Classify your links into two sets of categories. Don't care what numbers you call them, one, two, three, A, B, C. One of the categories is the ease of going through the link, the other category is the value of the link. When you get your A1s, you know you've hit a gold mine. You see, threes may not be as valuable. It shows you where to focus your energies, and that's really where you, you should be looking going forwards. Classify the link acquisition targets in those two key areas. How much oomph and how easy they are to get. Good, good, good note to... Uh, at the decide. same time, real quick. Um, get all these links all you want, but the, the associated links on the pages that you have your links on have everything to do with the value of the link you're actually placing. So uh, the outgoing links and who they're linking to in the neighborhoods, I mean, all these things are a, a, a big factor. You can just you can put a link on a page and it's worth this much. If there's three or four um, uh, competitors or you know, who, uh, three or four other links on the same page, it's going to devalue your link. So I think it's not just where the link's placed. I think it's looking at the quality of the page that your link's placed on whether it's in a vertical market. Um. Great. So, yeah, look at Bing. Get your quality links in and get grandfathered into, uh, into Bing before it becomes the biggest thing on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for our panel.